Hi, Brennan's Louise with Louise B. Carrot. Uh, welcome today, and I got something new again. Trying to tur turn something functional into something pretty and functional. So I was at the uh, the Goodwill the other day, and I picked up this coffee cup holder. You know, we have a coffee cup little rack in the kitchen like this. And so I picked it up, I primed this already, and my plan here is to uh, paint on this. I taped up the bottom, and uh, I think I need to tape on the inside. I'll do that before I get back. So what I've got here, I'm going to do a bloom on this and make this really pretty. I'll touch up that cup holder part uh, with some matte black, probably, and then have this with a black base and these colors, and we'll see what we get. So I've got something a little different here again today. So I've run out of my min wax, my gloss min wax, and I'm going to be trying this Josanya gloss varnish, which I've literally had for over a year now. I just have never really used it. And I'll tell you what, it's very different already. Um, first of all, it smells different than the min wax. And to me, it's thinner. So we'll see what we get here. So I've just only mixed up a little bit of paint here, so I gotta see how this is gonna go. And let me get you down over here. So this is called, this is from uh, Amsterdam. And this is uh, Titan, it's Titan Buff. Now I bought this a little while ago, I haven't used it. As you can see here, it is a an opaque, paint, which means if it's opaque, it's not going to let bleed through colors that are directly below it. Um, so that's that. This is my 24 karat gold. This is Burnt Sienna by, uh, by Golden. That's my consistency. This is my pearl. It's my pearl pastel green by Arteza. And this shows that it is a semi- uh, transparent paint. So it'll let some colors go through directly below. And then this is my Amsterdam greenish blue and I added a little bit of Golden's silver to it because I wanted to lighten it up a little bit and gray it a little bit more. So that's my lineup. I've got my white and black cell activator as normal. And I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna use this black paint, which is uh, my recycled black paint that when I originally started was this um, Tricorn Black by Sherman Williams. As you can see, I really care about how tight the lid is. <laughs> Thicker's better to me. So I'm gonna be trying this new varnish with some colors here and we'll see what we get. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, everybody, I'm going with my tricorn and I'm getting near the end of this. So I probably need to get more pretty soon. Maybe there'll be a sale. This is my pillow for today. All right, I'm gonna start with this Titan, Titanium Titan Buff. I'm just gonna do a simple, simple bloom. Oh, this still has a lot of air bubbles in it. Holy cats. I just mixed this paint up and I don't normally mix and then go right away. All right, everyone, so I'm just gonna pick up the pace here as I'm laying down the colors. You can see what I'm doing. And all I do talk about here is the difference that I'm feeling with the Josanya. I did mix it with my Glidden, uh, three parts of the Glidden PM paint to one part Josanya. And it's definitely, definitely thinner than the Minwax. And you can see as I'm laying the colors down, the colors are just already spreading out by themselves. In a second, I'm going to flash up the Glidden that I'm used for the PM. Three parts Glidden to the one part of Josanya. And that's my pouring medium. Then I add my paints to that. 
but usually I have a two to three second trace for the paints. This time it's maybe one second trace, which is much thinner consistency than I'm used to using. But also the pillow, this black is thinner too, so it might all end up working out okay. It spreads all the way to the edges. Holy Toledo. You know, it's just amazing how different, just one little different thing can make a big difference. All right, mix up my white, mix up my black. Here we go. Did I put enough down here because it's all spreading? Right, get my lungs going. There we go. So I'm just gonna voice over here as I'm blowing this out. I do better blowing out of the side of my mouth than out of directly in front, as you'll see here in a second. I don't feel comfortable blowing straight ahead like that. It doesn't come out right. So it's important that you find out what way you're comfortable and effective in blowing out a bloom. There is no right way. There is just the way that works for you. Wow. It is so much thinner. Very, very different. So I'm going to speed up here and voice over, and all I'm doing is just getting all the edges covered before I get ready to spin. It's always important that on anything that you're going to spin, well, it's most of the time important that you get the paint to the edges so the paint won't roll over itself as it starts to spread. Okay. Oof. Wow. That is something. Okay. My scrap collector, here we go. So I think right here I blew a little too hard because I got down in the pillow. Yeah. But it's interesting. That's not so bad so far. Okay, I'm going to clean up for a second, so I might skip ahead here. Oh man, I can just see a little resin coat on this. Mind you, some of that black might be where the holder goes, so it might not even be that noticeable. Wow. All right, we're not done spinning yet because there's still plenty of paint coming off. But how much easier was that to blow out? Save myself a heart attack. We'll see how this holds up. You know, different consistencies with my same cell activator might have a different reaction. Here we go, other way. I don't even mind this black so much and it's actually changing. It's uh, the the buff is is growing into it. Huh. Oh, this is really cool. I don't know if you remember how it was in the beginning. This black was very prominent, and now it's turning. 
that color. It's like a magic show happening right before our eyes. Don't need to go to Vegas to get a good show. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm keeping an eye on how much paint's coming off to decide how long I need to keep spinning this. I still got some more paint, but it's not bad. Let's clean up some of these drips. Stop it from pulling. Now, I'm not too worried about the edges here because this stand comes with a little plastic gasket kind of thing that goes around the bottom that protects your countertop from uh, the metal so it doesn't scratch. So this edge will be covered up anyway. Wow, this is really pretty. I'm telling you, you've got to get to the get to the yard sales and the Goodwill store and the estate sales and find stuff. Go on Marketplace on Facebook, your local area. See what's being sold. You know what's yeah. And now that I have my friend up the street who's very interested in helping me who then will be helping himself as well to what I can offer him we we got a really good thing going if you can find somebody who's a or a husband or a wife or something who can do um, you know creating bases or back backgrounds or frames you can make your own stuff wow I'm loving this thing Holy cats. Okay, you know what? The masses, the public, doesn't recognize a imperfect piece. They just see something that looks really interesting and grabs their eye. And I think I mentioned this in prior videos. Your colors, your composition, are probably two of the most things, biggest things you can do I mean, of course, your consistencies have to be right on so you can get the results that you need. But consist color and composition. Because you want to be able to lure somebody in with the color by attracting them to it. And then have it be interesting to look at so they can't take their eyes off it. That they have to buy it. Or you give it away to a friend and you make, them, make their day. Alright, I'm going to say this is done. I'm going to pop one more bubble here and I will get you down for a overview. So that brings us to the end. Here are the wet results and then I'm going to show you here in a second the final resin results in the sun and the final assembled piece. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. Thanks a lot.